Okay, folks, we just arrived at Circle M Campground, and this is our, not only our first cabin stay with Thousand Trails, but this is our first cabin stay ever. So we're really stoked about this. They just gave us the key. And so let's go check out the cabin. We're using our complimentary ca week long cabin stay that Thousand Trails gave us. We get five of them, one for each of the first five years that uh, we're a member under our current membership. And wow. Actually looks better than the videos that were on the Circle M website. Here's the kitchen area. Melody turned the TV on. Milo likes it too. Uh, we wanted to show you around before we moved any of our stuff in. So let me take you around. Um, it has a two burner cooker top. It has a microwave. Uh, we did bring our own, yeah, we brought our own convention oven and coffee maker. But uh, this is the, the bedroom back here. This is a pet friendly cabin. Pretty cool. We got pillows up there. We brought our own linens. Do you like it? Um, the air conditioning's in on. It's nice and cool in here. So, well, let's go in. And there's a, they had bunk beds in here. I think that's where we're gonna store most of our stuff. It's just M Melody and Milo and I for this trip. Here's the air conditioning unit and uh, this is the bunk house got a bunk there on the bottom and another bunk on the top you got a ladder there for if you had kids could climb up there but we're just going to use that for storage and uh okay so now let me take you back in the uh bathroom nice sink area and it's a combination a bathtub shower and it is the cabin is not dingy at all and of course you have your commode um, nice and bright nice new wood really impressed okay well that's uh that gives you a feel for what the cabins are like before we move our stuff in and uh later on in the video i'll i'll give you a, a tour of the campground like i usually do and uh we'll uh, we'll revisit the cabin area after we've had a chance to explore and we're going to go out in the and bring our stuff in. Here's one of the pools at Circle M RV Resort. Here's another vantage point of the pool. And then they also have a kiddie pool right here. And a playground adjacent to the pool. Many golf areas uh, right under that covered area. We'll go take a look at that a little bit later. And this is the equipment pickup uh, where you'll get your golf clubs and whatnot. Really nice facility. The cabins we're staying at are right on the other side of the pool there. Out from my morning walk this morning, uh, this place gets pretty packed. So I thought I'd give you a look when nobody's here. This is the uh, mini golf. You don't see this too often. This whole mini golf is underneath a covered area. So uh, that makes it nice. There's 
the Wagon Wheel Lodge in the arcade where we just came from. That's the mini golf off to the right here. Pole was right behind there. There's another covered pole and I believe they have a, a hot tub. I saw the word spa on the building. So uh, out for my morning walk, let's go up and check out the other pool. Hopefully we'll find a hot tub there. And this is the building uh, that the, the uh, covered pool and hot tub is in. Really impressed with the facilities here at this Thousand Trails campground. There's a pavilion right outside of where the covered pool area is. They have, looks like basketball courts up there. Well manicured. Really nice facility. Well, I'm here at Circle M Campground at the indoor pool. Security just let me in. They have certain hours when it's open and uh, nobody's nobody else is here. So I got the whole place to myself and look at that hot tub. Just wait for Lou to hop in. That was an awesome soak. Just a nice pleasant morning to check out the Thousand Trails campground here at Circle M. And uh, when we came in yesterday, guess who greeted us? Bob and Mari Bostic. They're membership specialist here at Circle M. And they were the same membership specialist that we met at um, Lake Medina, Thousand Trails near San Antonio, Texas, where we purchased our adventure membership. So uh, it was really nice getting together with them yesterday. They gave us a wonderful greeting. They hopped in the golf cart and took us right to our cabin. I'll throw a photo up. A lot of the campsites here at Circle M Campground, um, you have to work at getting your rig level, but there are uh, there are sites where you can get your rig level. Site B-52 is a nice site. And even though it goes down a grade, um, I just walked on that site. You can get your rig level here. Let's go take a look. Let's see what kind of hookups we have. There's your water. There's your sore. Thirty fifty amp hookup. There's your campsite. So there's the uh, site B fifty two. That's the one we just looked at. Site B sixty. That's also a nice site. You can get your rig level. I'm not a big fan of trying to get your rig level. You can see some people have to work pretty hard to get the rig level. So uh, the campsites I'm going to show you are uh, ones that uh, you can get your rig level on without a bunch of work. If you can get, if you can get it, site H8 is a nice large level site. You can back a rig right up in there. Plenty of room to get your rig level. You got some shade from this tree right here. Site H8, going down the book. Circle M RV Campground. D29 is a nice site. You can get your rig level on D29. And D30 is a good site. Any size rig can fit in there and you can get your rig level. I'm down in the laundry room at the Circle M RV Camping and RV Resort in Lancaster, PA. It looks like they have five washers. And let's take a look and see how much it is. It looks like $2 for a regular cycle and $2.25 for the super cycle. They do take quarters, but they also have an app where you can pay with your phone and you would just follow the prompts on the, on the machine here. 
Over here we have five dryers and it looks like the dryers are $2 to dry. It's a nice size laundry room, very clean. Um, they have a couple of tables here where you can fold your laundry. Um, there's a sink over there, but it is very clean. Let's go down by the river and check out these campsites. So off to my right is uh, site S23. Uh, that would be an example of one of your riverside sites. You, um, park your your camper in on this side of the picnic table there's your fire ring Let's see what kind of hookups we have down here there's water <sighs> 30 and 50 amp I just walk from that direction. Uh, you can get, um, you know, a large camper down here along the river. There's a reflection just pulled in and he's he's hooking his rig up right now with the electric. But, uh, you, have a, you have a mix of tent campers, pop-up campers, full-size campers, all along here. Okay, so if you got a fifth wheel like I do, this is where you're gonna turn up the hill and it takes you back up to the uh, main camping area it takes you it'll put you out uh, right around the pool area the indoor pool area and uh, this section back in here I have not been back here yet and this is uh, clearly states no RVs over 30 feet long so uh, let's go down and check this out so we've been told that there is a pool out there's a put-in up there by the getaway cabins where you can put a, a raft in or a tube in and float down the Conestoga River. And there, and there was a pull-out that's supposed to be down here, and I believe this is maybe it. You got this natural rock outcropping. And there's the Conestoga River. So you just float right down and bring your raft or tube right up on this natural rock and go ahead and this would be your takeout point. Okay, there's site I-11 and it does have electric. That access road is do not enter. There seems to be a whole other section down here that uh, has electric. I am at the end of the Riverside Camping Loop and they do have a turnaround down here, uh, turnaround area down here. The Strasburg Railroad is a nearby attraction you won't want to miss. Another great attraction in the Lancaster area is the Down on the Farm Creamery. And this is the actual creamery. They have a, a shop by the railroad straight to station, but uh, today is Tuesday. It was closed, so we came out to the uh, actual creamery itself, which is about a mile and a half away. Um, and we're about to order some uh, ice cream. We left Milo back in the cabin at Circle M. Boy, he's going to be mad. <laughs> Let's go get some ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you get, hon? Strawberry. Strawberry. And I got chocolate, chocolate, and peanut butter. Mm -mm. So the ice cream was pretty good. Nice and creamy. Well worth a visit. Melody just spotted a pony at the rear of the creamery. Oh my goodness. Oh my 
My name is Kathleen. I was born on 42721. Hi, Kathleen. Another worthwhile attraction here in the Lancaster area is the Amish Farm in House. Melody and I are getting ready to take a tour of the house. A guided tour. We're going to talk about the Amish, and some history behind the farm. What did you think of the tour, huh? The tour was awesome. I highly recommend if you're in the area. They covered a lot of things they didn't cover in the tours we had in Amish country in Ohio. Completely different kind of tour, but taught, taught you about a good bit about the Amish, all different aspects of their life. Uh, highly recommend the tour. Now we're going to go check out the farm. Melody spotted a little goat over here. Hi, buddy. Oh, these goats are adorable. Oh, Milo would love you, buddy. You and Milo would make good friends. We're all moved in. We've been here almost a complete week. And uh, her and Milo are gonna give you a tour of the inside of the cabin. We have a nice big deck here. It's nice and long, and it almost makes you feel like you're in a tree house when you're sitting out on the deck. So come on in, I'll show you around. can see it's one big open area. We have a dinette set with four chairs. We're utilizing the chairs in other areas. Um, we have a sofa. I think it's a sleeper sofa, but I can't be 100% sure. And over here is what they refer to as the bunk room. Works perfect for us because it's just the two of us plus Milo, so we use it for storage. Then our nice little kitchen. Um, there is no oven, but they do have a um, two burners up here, microwave. The toaster oven is ours. We did bring it from home in case we needed it. And then in here we have our bathroom. Standard bathroom, everything you need, toilet, shower, tub, and a sink. They do provide dishes, silverware, and some pots and pans. Works out nice. Then in here we have our bedroom. It is a queen size bed and surprisingly it is very, very comfortable. You do have to bring your own linens. They do provide um, Four pillows in this room, and I think four in the bunk room. Um, also, you have to bring your own towels, um, bath towels, and the towels for the kitchen. The hanging rack here, we just brought the stuff in, had already been on hangers, so all we had to do is bring it in and hang it up. And there's also a TV in this room and a ceiling fan in this room as well. Very nice. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. You have to count on five. One, two, one, two, three, four, Milo. We're supposed to wait till you get to five. Good boy. We really like the standard cabin. Now we're going to take you over, and Thousand Trails has given us access to the getaway cabins. We're going to give you a tour over there. Thousand Trails has been nice enough to allow us to go into these getaway cabins here at Circle M Campground. So Melody and I are going to, going to take you on a little tour of the getaway cabins here. Okay, I'm going to take you inside the getaway cabin here at Circle M. Melody's going to give you the grand tour. We're going to start outside first. They have a nice wraparound porch with a picnic table and an umbrella. 
and that's an upgrade that you don't see in the cottage that we're in. And you have a gas grill is provided for you. And then in here, we have a couch, and it looks like it may make it to a futon if needed for extra sleeping. Nice TV and a fireplace. You have your table. And what's different in these is you have a full stove with an oven. In the cabin we're in, all we have is a two, two burner. It's almost like a hot plate. Um, you have a microwave, coffee maker, nice size refrigerator here. In here, we have some extra linens. And what you get in here too is an ironing and ironing board, which we don't have in ours. But that's okay, I'm on vacation, I'm not here to iron. <laughs> Here's the bathroom with a stand-up shower. There is no bathtub. We do have a bathtub in ours. There's no bathtub in here. And what's nice about these two is the, um, the towels are provided along with the linens for your bed. Plenty of storage up above. And here you have a place to hang your clothes. So you can just take it from your car. Yeah, the linens, we had to bring our own linens with the, uh, the cabins, the standard cabin that we're in. And uh, this one also has a dresser. Ours does not have a dresser, but we have a, um, like a seating stool underneath it. And that's where we have our suitcases. And there is a TV in this one as well. And you want to show them the cupboard? I believe there's a okay. cupboard on the other well, side. there's a cupboard on both sides. Oh, is there on both yeah, sides? On both sides. There's the his and her cupboards on both sides. And there is storage above your head. This looks to be like a queen, queen bed. Um, do you want to venture upstairs? Yeah, we can take them up there. I'm going to swing around and show them the storage above the bed. And then I need to swing in the bathroom here and then I'll join you upstairs. Here's your shower. Sink. I'll let you go upstairs by yourself because even because even though I'm short I still cannot stand up. Yeah. There. But the area up above would be good for little ones, teenagers, um, where they could have their own space. Up there. This is different. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's a, if you have kids or you just need some extra space, you want to put your suitcases up here or whatnot, um, you have a neat little space. And then that's your, living area down there you can see the ceiling fan really nice setup for the getaway cabin here at circle m rb resort and campground in lancaster pennsylvania so at circle m rv resort and campground they have two getaway cabins one is pet friendly one is not and I wanted to tell you a little bit about, I did, we did a whole video on the getaway cabin benefit. It's on our YouTube channel, but I'll just recap uh, briefly here. If you have the Thousand Trails Adventure membership or really any membership level above Elite Basic, you'll receive a free week-long stay at a getaway cabin for each of your first 10 years of membership. You may also trade your getaway cabin week and apply the value toward a cruise or condo through Resort Parks International. Melody and I have made a playlist on all these topics to include cabin rental rebates, getaway cabins, RPI, what it is, and how to trade your getaway week for a cruise or condo rental. If you want to learn more about any of these topics, just visit our YouTube channel or go to the link that's provided at the end of this video. I think I'm going to leave it here. 
I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.